Hey guys, Ryan here. And in today's video, I want to talk about three massive mistakes you're probably making that are holding you back from being a great player. Now, there's a lot to cover in this video, so I really hope you guys stick around to the end. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could tell me other types of videos along these lines you would like to see. And with that being said, we're going to move into the first tip, and this is you need to work on your mental priorities. While in a sense, this is a very abstract concept, in reality, it's very simple. A lot of what you guys have to do is focus on the right things in the moment to moment gameplay, but also in the larger picture. So if you focus on the gameplay in the background, you'll notice how I'm always prioritizing my positioning, my plating, and everything like that. When I take damage, my priority is to get to safety and not to overpeak. At any time there's danger, especially because I'm in a solo versus quads, I am trying to find cover and I am prioritizing plating and reloading when necessary. I see way too many people get someone down and they will just focus on this down person because in their mental checklist, it goes kill the down person first, get to cover second, play it up third, reload fourth, etc., etc. Their priorities are all over the place. Now, sometimes you do want to focus on finishing the down person, but a lot of the times, guys, your whole idea of your mental priorities, it's messed up. And I think another good example of this is what I prioritize. Right now, when I get seen by someone, I'm prioritizing cover. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but even when I down people in all this time, I am focused on cover. I'm moving in and out of cover. I just down that guy. And before I even think about finishing him, I'm gonna get to cover. Before I even actually thought about finishing that guy, my thought process was on how to get to cover. Because you need to think about it. If you just waste that time finishing someone, instead of prioritizing your plates, prioritizing getting your guns reloaded, prioritizing getting to cover, what's the point? What is that one kill? truly worth because what are you gonna do get one kill and just die and I think the other thing is I'm just using finishing a down person as an example too many people will put finishing a down person over getting to cover over reloading over plating and it's gonna cost them countless games but this also applies on a much larger sense and that's gonna lead me into my second topic and that's this stop waiting and start rotating so quick disclaimer what I'm about to say actually goes against everything I'm doing in this video right now, so please keep that in mind. If you want to win games, you need to focus on rotating way earlier than you probably do. Look at all the people I'm about to kill, guys. They are trapped between me and the circle, and this is not where you want to be. And on top of it, guys, this is not even where I would be if I was playing ranked or playing for the win. The only reason you see me here is because I'm going for a 20-30 kill game. But if I was going for the win, I would do everything in my power to rotate early. You do not want to be on the edge of the circles. You want to be the people that are shooting these guys. You see these people running into the circle from the edges of the map? What you want to be is the person who's looking at all this chaos and just picking people like me off. When you see me out here fighting the squad by myself 1v3, what does that matter if some guy's just gonna be sitting up on a building in a ranked game and pick me off and kill me? When I play ranked guys, I have a much different play style. I use the same fundamentals, but I focus on rotating earlier because that is a key core skill that you need to employ if you're focused on winning. And even though in that game, I ended up going on for like another two minutes or so, and I got a couple more kills, I didn't end up winning guys. And I could honestly tell you that that moment, even though it was four or five minutes before my death and before the final end circle, I could trace that moment back as being the key moment in why I didn't win the game. And this all has everything to do with my third tip. And this is stop looting and start shooting. And not only does this have to do with my second tip, this also has everything to do with my first tip. You guys need to put your priority in the right spots. Your mental checklist, your mental priorities need to be on the right things. You need to focus on rotating earlier. You need to focus on getting to cover and playing the game the right way. But another thing is you guys need to stop putting such a priority on looting boxes. Now, it is something, it's just a curse I see so many average players deal with. And guess what, guys? I love loot. And you know what's awesome about killing other people? is they're gonna gather all this loot for you. Think about how much loot you're gonna get if you just kill three people. That is so much more loot than you as an individual could get. Even if you were a looting monster and running around opening every box, if you just kill three people who are doing almost the same thing as you, you're gonna have way more loot. And that's something I can't stress enough. Stop looting and start shooting because this is also gonna have a massive consequence and side effect that you just can't even see. 
And I say in the long term, by doing this, by getting in more engagements, by focusing on rotating early to get wins, by focusing on doing everything but just playing a looting simulator, you're gonna get better and better. A lot of the skills you guys need to work on have nothing to do with looting and they have everything to do with just getting better at things like shooting, at moving in gunfights, at moving around the map, at learning to move from cover, identifying cover, and all of these little things. And it's not that loot isn't important, but when you're already pretty looted, when you first spawn and you already got two good ground loot guns and there's people shooting right next to you, don't open that other box. Go for the fight. Go for the red dots. Get those kills. Improve on the skills. Help your teammates. Don't loot so much. When you have your loadout and you're running across the map, don't stop and run in a random building to loot three crates when you're trying to rotate to win the game. Learn the right times to loot. Fix that whole mental checklist of yours. And once you get your priorities right and you start focusing on the right things, especially for your play style, you're just going to get way better and better. And so this last tip, guys, I'm not even going to put a whole fancy little title. I'm just going to talk about it. And it's this. There is a whole concept. It's called like focused practice and a growth mindset. And I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about it. But if you haven't, I really just want to hammer it home because this is the way to play Call of Duty. Call of Duty innately can be a super frustrating game and it can be super easy to want to do super cheesy and ratting things like camp a loadout because you're going to get a bunch of kills those couple times that you actually end up getting a good loadout camping session. And let me just say, if you want to hop on and camp some loadouts with your friends and get like two, three kills a game, you know, on average, be my guest. But if you actually want to get better, Focus on the things you need to focus on to get better because the core skills of movement, of gunplay, of positioning, of knowing where to rotate, when to rotate, of knowing how to play head glitches, of knowing just the map where people probably will be, where people rotate from, how they're going to play the end game circles, how to even play end game circles. There's just so much knowledge. And if you're sitting there just trying to cheese your way to a couple kills by doing, you know, dumb things like throwing two mines on a buy station, well, hey, be my guest because no one's here to tell you, quote unquote, how to play. But if you want to get better and that's something you're prioritizing, and I hope that's, you know, probably you guys if you're watching this video, well, focus on the right things. And that's what the whole video like this is about. You know that whole first tip about the mental priority thing? Now, to me, when you hop on Warzone, the number one thing has to be to have fun. But the second thing should be to get better. And you're like, well, Ryan, isn't that kind of counterintuitive? But no, just listen to me. Because the most fun I've ever had in gaming, and I've played a lot of games in my life, probably like you guys, is when I am just on an absolute tear in Warzone. When I am just out there taking on multiple squads by myself, I feel like a literal John Wick. I am sliding around, I'm moving around, I'm jumping around, I'm just taking on all these people by myself, and it's awesome. It's something I love, and that's some of the most fun I've ever had. And I think that's some of the most fun you guys would ever have if you experienced the same thing. And I'm sure all of those cool highlight moments you have to yourself are why you love Warzone. You can think of those cool moments. Maybe it's only a double kill, but when you got that double kill to win the game, those are the moments you remember and the things that you cherish. And that's why we play this. So that's what I want to help people achieve. I want to help them get better so they can have that. And by having this growth mindset, I promise you can achieve that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been Ryan. Peace.